in this example, we're going to focus on the balance outstanding on a loan. Let's read the question first. Sandy takes out a loan of 120,000 for home improvements. The loan is taken over a four-year period, so four years, at an interest rate of 12% per annum, compounded monthly. So, remember, 120,000, four years, 12% monthly. The first question, calculate the monthly payments. Now, when they ask us for the monthly payments, because we know what the loan amount is, they ask us to find X. If the first payment was made one month after the loan was granted. You remember in our previous example, we spoke at length about this, that with loans, your payment is always one month after the granting of the loan. So let's discuss this first part. Sandy's loan of 120,000, she wants to repay over a four year period. Let's draw the timeline. So, T0, T1, T2, and at T0, that is my present value, and that is 120,000. This is now given to us, this loan amount, our P value. The payments, we don't know. That is what they want us to calculate. So that is X and X, and she's going to pay this amount that we want to find right up to for a period of four years, of course, then 48 months. So she's going to make those payments. And the question is, what is this monthly payment? So the loan is 120,000. The monthly payment's X for 48 months, because we start one month after the granting of the loan. Remember this one month gap always between when the loan is granted and your first payment. Interest rate, please remember, 12% per annum compounded monthly. This is a present value annuity, so we're going to use our present value annuity formula, and we're going to find X. So for present value, it's X, bracket 1 minus 1 plus I. Please remember, it's to the minus N over I. Now for substitution. First of all, my P is 120,000. 120,000 is equal to the X, I don't know. 1 minus 1 plus the I is 0, 0,12 over 12. And then the number of payments, of course, 48. Because from 1 up to 48. With the negative over my I, which is 0, 0,12 over 12. And now we're going to put this onto our calculator like we've done before, and we're going to calculate the monthly payment. Let's do it together. Remember what we said before. First of all, if you feel uncomfortable of working it out at once, please manipulate it. So by multiplying this denominator by this value and divide by the whole bracket. Or as you think through this problem, Put it like that on your calculator, and you don't really need to write it down. So I switch it on. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this 120,000. I'm going to multiply it with the denominator over. So you can say equal if you want to, or you can use your fraction, and then you go to the denominator. So you will multiply these two. Then you will divide with this whole bracket. Let's do it. So. My 120,000, two, three, times by this fraction, 0 0.12 over the 12. Then my denominator, because it's this times by that, my denominator means it's below the line, so I divide by, and now I put this bracket onto my calculator. So it is 1 minus the bracket 1 plus the fraction, remember to move away and to close this bracket. The exponent, of course, is negative. So don't forget the negative sign. Move away, close the bracket, 
push your equal button and I've got an answer of 3,160. 3,160 rand and six cents if I round it off to two decimals. 3,160 rand and six cents. What is the meaning of this answer? That is the monthly payment she's going to make. So this first part of the question, fairly straightforward, find the monthly payment of this loan. Now, let's look at the B part. That is very interesting. 